knock, knock. Hi. Hi, Akosia. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, it's been a long time. How are you? You look great. Thank you. What brings you here? Uh, just as always, trying to swing by to see how you're doing. Hi, Miss Shannon. Good to see you. Mr. Abedi Anim. Yes. How are you? It's been a minute. I'm good. I have to say. Oh, Mahonye. Now I swear. Mahonye. Mahonye. Yeah. Mahonye. You're looking good. Thank you. Thank okay. you. You're looking very colorful as always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what brings you by? Well, I heard you're here at Academic City University College and I decided to swing by to check up on you. Okay. Um, I mean, I know you're always doing great stuff. So I'm just coming in to check up. You don't so thank yeah. you for coming. But you know, I also saw you last week on television. It seems you guys were like feeding um, children. Yeah, street kids. Street, yeah, okay. yeah. So you know, my organization always deal with kids um, who are less privileged. Mm -hmm. Last week, we gave them some food and stationary items. We, we teach them how to read and write and also help some with scholarship and stuff. That's one of the main reasons why I'm here, apart from checking up on you. I heard you're doing great stuff here in science. I mean, matter of fact, you were one of those who brought um, science, girls in science and technology training in Ghana here. And you, you being with Academic City University College, I'm sure you're doing great stuff. I'm here just to know what we can do with some of our kids in our organizations and how we can get them in. Tell me about your role here. So thank you. First of all, thank you for stopping by. And you know, my, my eyes got big when I heard you say scholarship. <laughs> so we'll be talking about, you know, how we can get young people scholarships mm -hmm. in Ghana. But um, so basically, I'm the director of admissions here at mm -hmm. Academic City University College. And in that role, my job is to recruit students. Mm -hmm. So basically, I manage student recruitment. But mm -hmm. really, when you think about it, I really kind of manage young people's process and their first step at independence. Mm -hmm. So parents send us their award because they trust us mm -hmm. with that process. Um, here at Academic City, it's a uh, relatively new STEM programs, um, STEM, a STEM university in Ghana. And um, I'm excited about being here. I'm excited about the work that we're doing. Um, we're passionate about it. It's something that I take very serious. You know, anytime I hear STEM yeah. and there's an opportunity to promote, especially young women in mm. STEM, I'm going to be, you know, definitely that, that's a your part passion. of that. It's yes. been always your passion. Yes. But I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to ask, there are a lot of universities here in Ghana and West Africa, to be precise. What sets Academic City University College apart from the other universities? Betty, this sounds like an interview, but that's a, but that's a great question. I need, I need to know. That's a great question. <laughs> um, so basically, Academic City University College um, is different. Mm -hmm. First of all, we're new. It's forward thinking. Um, and I guess what would make it different is we are very deliberate and intentional about the programs offered. Mm. And the programs that we offer speak directly to solving some of the challenges of development in Africa. Mm. So even if you think about something like sanitation, mm. something like um, um, some of the, let's say the health challenges. Mm. I, I, when I think of health, I think of people have a limited accessibility to mm. buildings yes. in Ghana. Yes. So we have students that take a look at um, those kind of problems. Those special areas. Yes, one of our um, summer, we had a team of students this year mm -hmm. that engineered like um, a mobile digital wheelchair. Ooh. Okay, so these are things that we shouldn't be importing. These are things that our young people, our industry should be should able be to support. Yes, and design. So when you think of Academic City University College, you think of programs mm -hmm. that speak specifically to what our, um, some of our challenges here in Africa. And I'm excited wow. to be a part of the problem solving, um, the problem solving team. Mm -hmm. So it, it sounds exciting. It's not really exciting, but it, it looks like Academic City is carefully choosing programs that will go into solving problems. Tell me a little bit about what is so special about some of the programs you you, you, you hear offer to your kids, like robotics, biomedical, and some of these okay. IT programs 
that I design on. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we have um, some future ready programs. Mm -hmm. um, what comes to mind is industrial systems and engineering. Mm -hmm. And again, industrial systems and engineering is a program that we offer for young people, but it speaks directly to some of the challenges in industry and production mm -hmm. and manufacturing, not only in Ghana, but in in the whole of the whole continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. um, biomedical engineering, um, Biomedical engineering, you know, during the recent pandemic, our students were able to go into our lab on campus and create solutions. Ooh. By creating solutions, I mean they were able, they were creating ventilators when Ghana had less than 100 in the country for a whole nation. Mm -hmm. And our students were able to go and um, create like several different prototypes that are now being reviewed by the Ghana, Ghana mm -hmm. Standards Authority. Mm -hmm. So we have um, also artificial intelligence. When we think of artificial intelligence we think of let's say for an example smartphones mm -hmm. how can we create and produce smartphones right here in Ghana mm -hmm. that's not something that we should be important anymore mm -hmm. so when you think of like biomedical engineering you think of artificial intelligence you think of industrial systems and engineering and one of the programs that I'm most proudest about is we offer a BBA in entrepreneurship mm -hmm. we know that the entire continent of Africa Ghana is of all the countries um, though South Africa Africa has the, so they say, the highest unemployment mm -hmm. uh, for youth. Ghana is right behind that. So we know that entrepreneurship is going to be the engine that's going to mm -hmm. drive the whole continent. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have to get our young people ready for that. And so Academic City University College, thinking forward, is designed designed a program that will teach our young people everything from how to write a proposal. Mm -hmm to how to develop um, their business, um, to register in their business, to launch in their business. So t technically, I mean, the most excited part uh, I heard right now you say was when Ghana was in crisis. Yes. You created solutions. Yes. And I was expecting you to say sanitizers, but you created... Ventilators. And I was, really? You know, others were creating sanitizers and other stuff, nose masks, which is great, but you guys went and much higher. Now, the, the icing on the cake is that you train students from doing their own paperwork, administrative work, registering their companies, to putting what the thoughts are and what the ideas are into action, seeing the, 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 the end product and even marketing it. Well, it's funny that you should say that. You, the key word is action. This is not a campus of theory. Mm. This is a campus where all students, they work in teams and mm. All of our programs are practical in nature. You're not going to come here and sit and students won't come here and sit and listen to lectures mm. and just leave having memorized mm. theory. Students will come here having innovated something, whatever they're passionate about. They start with taking a look and researching what are some of the problems that keep us from being globally competitive. And then they began to get creative and kind of tackle some of those wow. problems. And we hear the faculty, the staff, every Everybody here, we're team a city student. So we rally behind our students and help them breathe life mm. into those projects because we know that those projects are ultimately the solutions. But Akusha, that's how you and I studied in other places. So I'm glad that system is coming down here into Ghana and at least Ghanaians can also assess such a system that helps your dream come to life. I, I mean, now I, I'm positive that we can get some of our needy but brilliant kids here. Yeah, I know First you've of gone off and now you're back, so I'm happy. <laughs> yes, you're back. We're back. We're back. No, but that, that part is important because if I can just talk about our faculty for a minute, mm -hmm. most of our faculty are coming with um, tons of industrial um, professional experience. Mm -hmm. And that's something that also makes our university um, unique. unique and stands out because mm -hmm. you're not talking about um, faculty or your lecturer only can tell you textbook. Mm -hmm. Our faculty will be in the lab mm -hmm. um, with our students. Um, most of our students, they, they engage in project-based mm -hmm. learning. And so they're dealing with people that can speak from first-hand mm -hmm. experience. To finish products. Yes, to finish products. Mm -hmm. to, to beautiful finished products. Beautiful Even the, finished product. the design of the product, you know, industrial systems and engineering. How do you, do, you can create one cell phone in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You can create one bamboo mm -hmm. bike. 
Okay? Yeah. However, how are you going to take that to market for mass production? Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's where we always come up short. Mm -hmm. And so again, and taking a look at what some of the issues are in Ghana, here is programs that take students from point A to Z and making sure that, you know, we're we're looking at some of these problems and, and, and resolving them. Truth be told, this is what Ghana need at this moment. Just walk me through your, your, your admission process. That's what I need right now. You need the scholarship <laughs> information or the admissions process? I, I, I need to know the admission process and then you walk me through the scholarship okay. process or whatever you have, the scholarship requirements that you have. And let me put the two together and start scanning through my, my, my young ones. I have, I mean, we have gathered a few needy but very brilliant kids who need scholarships, who need to be institutions like this, who need the support, who have the passion to, to bring their dreams to life. And you'll be amazed at some of them. But quickly walk me through your scholarship okay. process so, and your admission process. Thank you. I'll, I'll speak to both admissions process. Okay. So we have tuition fee paying admissions process. Mm -hmm. And basically this is the majority of our campus. Mm -hmm. And uh, though we comb the entire country and really West Africa, I look for the best and the brightest students because mm -hmm. um, I need to say this here at Academic City University College, the work is very rigorous. Mm. Um, it's very different because you're always working in a team with, you know, with other students. Everything is project based design. Mm -hmm. So with that, it's just not about um, coming to class, taking the lecture notes and then um, studying and memorizing the lecture notes and then you take exam no here is where you have to work to work with the team um, we take a look at the soft skills at the human relations part and you also have to uh, creatively collaboratively develop solutions so it takes a special kind of student to mm. be able to to do that and so i honestly say i bet he, mm -hmm. i mean it's not every student that i'm looking for i'm looking for the best and the brightest mm. one um for those parents that are interested, for the students that are interested, most of our information is digitized. Mm -hmm. um, students and parents both can go to our website, which is www.acity.edu.gh. Mm -hmm. And on there, um, we will take you step by step by step for the admissions process. Mm -hmm. However, the other thing that you can find on our website is a phone number where you can contact us directly. Mm -hmm. Myself or any one of our admissions officers will gladly walk you through the the process so that is um in addition to that i can say um i make it a point to visit most of the senior high schools mm. especially in ghana mm. and so um you can also students can also ask their guidance counselor or their headmaster or headmistress um, when is academic city university college coming to campus mm. and so we travel a lot in the country making sure that we touch all of the senior um, high school students, the final year students, and really kind of spend a day with them talking about our different programs. Mm -hmm. Also, we're located in Hacho and Abogba, mm -hmm. and um, parents that are interested can feel free to call us for a campus tour. Oh, okay. In fact, I encourage everyone for a campus tour. Um, if you are looking for a STEM program, if you're looking for um, cutting edge, future ready communications and arts program, I encourage parents to come to the campus and check us out. I can arrange for you to maybe to perhaps audit a class so that you get a, a real good understanding in terms of how, how we do things here at Academic City University College. Um, we have many activities that you know we have. We have open day, we have parents night, but if parents are not able to come, um, or if you know of someone interested and they're not able to come, feel free to just um, call us, contact us, and then I can help them, you know, kind of schedule something that is more suitable to their schedule, their personal schedule. First of all, Akusha, you guys have a very wonderful campus. Thank you. The, I mean, look, I, I have taken a tour around here, been to some of the labs and classrooms, beautiful setup, beautiful. It's quite, you know, it's kind of an, a space where you look at the architecture and it's mind opening. It kind of, get, you feel like you have the energy to do more. Like Thank you. you can do more than you, it just tell me. It, it, now it's sounding a bit competitive because now high schools are going to be like, when is Academic City coming to us? Before even they start writing their high school, end of school exam. Mm. Then they're already thinking the smart ones who want to go into sciences, robotics, biochemical, they're all thinking of academic city, which is great. But how many intakes do you do in one academic year? 
Okay, so that's a nice question. But before I answer that, one thing I will um, discuss is our robotics program. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you mentioned it. So most of the robotics teams um, at the high schools we work with, mm -hmm. and we try to um, start taking a look at the those young people that are interested in robotics mm -hmm. as they're in their senior uh, as they're in their senior. Um, yeah. year of high school um, we sponsor most of the robotic championships mm. um, competition we sponsor most of the robotics competitions that happen in and around Ghana so if you're a student and if you're passionate about robotics mm. um, call us and let us come to your high school let me take a look at your robotics team and let's see how we can support you you don't have to wait till you come to the university to do that mm. so that's one um, what was your question? I was asking about how many intakes you have in one academic year. Okay, thank you. So we have two intakes in an academic year. Um, we enroll students for September mm -hmm. and we enroll students for January. So, um, however, we, I, I, we spend a lot of time taking a look with, at students in their final year of high school. So that is where we can start our discussion so that by, um, by September or by the time they've written their WASI exams and we have the results, we are able to then kind of help them um, transition. Yes, please transition into on into, into mm. classes. Um, you asked me about admissions. So I'm excited to tell you about our presidential scholarship. Great. I know you're very passionate about scholarships. Mm -hmm. I'm equally passionate about scholarships. So we offer a merit-based scholarship called mm -hmm. the presidential scholarship. And this is a scholarship that is for the best, the brightest, and the brilliant. I love that. The uh, best, brightest, and the brilliant. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what I'm looking for, what we're looking for, it's very competitive, but what would cap capture my attention, I'm looking for a student mm -hmm. that not only can make A's, but this, these are students that have been heavily involved in their community. Mm -hmm. They've been um, a community advocate for something that they're passionate about, and or a student that is already being innovative, they're already inventing, they're already being solution oriented. Mm -hmm. This could be students that just woke up one day and was very tired of the lack of sanitation in their community and took it upon their self to begin to rally their community to, you know, just um, better, better, better clean the community. You know, um, I've had students that develop like smart trash bins, mm -hmm. place them outside in the community and just create an awareness that we can do better than yeah. this. The uh -huh. equally students who are also into coding at this time, yeah. who are doing coding. great coding. The, um, what, do call, what do you call it? Uh, Internet-based coding where they're designing software. That's software design. And we not only believe in that, that's actually part of our curriculum. Every oh. student that comes to Academic City University learns College how learns how to code in okay. their first year here. Okay. So by the end of their first year, our students can already build apps. They can already oh. build websites. They can already pretty much do graphic design. Hold on, Akosia. So that's like the basic. Yes, it's basic. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's basic. That's basic. Like that's basic. Here in Academic City College, your first year, second year, you should be able to design a basic app code. No, no, no. Your first year. First year, not your even the second year. As a 100-level student, by the end no, of your 100-level no, year, you will know how to code okay. and program here mm. at Academic City. Only here. And basic Academic languages, City. you'll learn how to. Mm. So you hear things like Python and some of the other languages. Our students learn that in mm. their first year. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying that this is very intentional. And so we've taken a look mm -hmm. at the landscape in and around mm -hmm. Ghana. And what is it do we feel that, what are the skills that our students need mm -hmm. in order to not only be globally competitive, but in order to take the leadership mm -hmm. reins and take it to the next level? What is it that our students need in order to lead? And so when you take a look at some of those skills, we're talking about um, our students establishing um, 
good values and integrity um, are, because those skills are equally important. Mm -hmm. If you have all of this knowledge you and you're ready to it. lead and you lack, you lack integrity, then where are you leading the people to? Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Will you even accomplish your goals? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So those are things that are part of our core values that we, we believe here in Academic City University College. And, you know, here is a family environment. Mm -hmm. um, every student we recruit, we really get to know uh, we, we really get to build a relationship mm -hmm. with their family. Um, their family is actually trusting us, and it's a trust that we take very seriously and we're very committed to. Um, we have a safe, we have a clean environment, and we have an environment that is intentional about good customer service, and we're intentional about our, the journey of the student. Mm -hmm. um, here is a campus, though, when it comes to the student, uh, we won't hold your hands when it comes to the academic work. We will support you, but we believe in students becoming independent. Mm. So that's probably the, the greatest challenge for some of our parents because we have to draw this line mm. between the end of high school mm -hmm. and then the beginning of university that life. And, and so parents trust us with that process. That transition. Yes. You recently had the graduation, right? Yes, yeah. we did. <laughs> you look so excited. Our, gra our graduation was so good. <laughs> It was so good. Yeah. Um, we um, were able to graduate our first batch of um, 400 level students. Mm -hmm. um, that we call them our. We refer to them as our pioneer students, mm -hmm. and um, we are excited about them making their mark on the world. Mm -hmm. We have students in UK already um, working at Goldman Sachs. We have mm. students that are placed in Tallow Oil Company. We have students that are with um, Microsoft. Wow. We have stu we have our students are doing very well. Um, of course, they have to wait for um, their the journey, national the national service. Yeah. But we're very optimistic about where our students are going. Where we where we had one of my best friends who's. Um, uh, a celebrity, Kwame Safaka, had her, his daughter yes. graduated from here. And we, we met last time, we were talking about it, the impact and the change in her life and even the family. It was so great. But Nice. Well, I can tell very soon Ghana will be producing the, um, the Steve Jobs, the, um, what do you call, Bill Gates and the others right from this continent. Oh, definitely. Um, again, I don't think I gave the presidential scholarship justice, Go ahead. but I just want you to know that the presidential scholarship, you have to have a minimum requirement of six A's and two B's okay. for the WASI results. Okay. And um, again, it's an essay that you have to write. There are about two to three interviews involved where you're interviewed by our faculty, you're interviewed by our staff, you're interviewed by students, mm. um, and you will ultimately be interviewed by the president of this university. Mm. So um, it is something that we take serious, but with the presidential scholarship, because I know, again, that you know this is the work that you do, the scholarship caters for all four years, oh. um, all feeding, all accommodations, um, some uh, student learning stipends. materials, student learning materials, and a small stipend to kind of help them while they're in mm. um, university. But basically, here's a place where you can just show up with your clothes, and you'll mm. will will hold your hand, and you'll go the entire route. So it's a complete scholarship. It's a complete, it's a full ride. It's, it's the value of our presidential scholarship is worth about 40,000 US dollars. Mm. Um, and again, we're looking for the best, the brightest, and the brilliant. And as I told you before, it's not every student that we're looking for. Yeah. We're looking for students that um, are serious, that will rise to the occasion. And our goal is for the students to complete. Mm. So this is like a four year journey. When mm. we talk to parents, I'm not talking to parents as if, you know, we're just talking about this year mm. and for them to, let's say, pay their mm. registration fee and they're and here. We're talking about the entire four years. So mm. when I see a student, I'm looking at that student and their cap and gown mm. in four years from now, mm. graduating and getting ready to go and take over the mm. industry. That's what we call vision. Yes, thank you. Because okay, so this is so heartwarming. And I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna go around and do my own um, scanning through the kits and see who fits the best, the brightest, and the, the brilliant. brilliant. Yes. And then we, we put together some of these requirements. But it's, this is, this is just um, super to hear. I, I know you always with great stuff, so I knew I was gonna get some. 
What are you mm -hmm. telling parents um, who are thinking of bringing their kids here and applicants who are, but before I get to there, do you have all this information on your website or any? Again, every, our website, www.acity.edu.gh. Parents can go there and find most of the information about what I'm saying. However, I'm encouraging parents to see it with your eyes. Mm. Come, come to the campus. Um, I'm here. We, I don't want to say we're here 24 hours. Yeah, but, but you're um, here most of the time. We work long hours. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're here everywhere for between 9 and 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And if, again, we can personalize a campus tour for mm -hmm. you. So some parents, because of their work schedule, they only have Saturdays or they only have Sundays. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they want to come after church on a Sunday to see the campus. They should feel free to contact us mm -hmm. so that, you know, we can make that happen for them. But again, we're open for admission. Um, and I am recruiting the best, the brightest, and the, and the brilliant. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm looking for students that you know they're ready to kind of take on this, this, this Africa. You know, they say Ghana is the gateway to Africa. Mm -hmm. So definitely, we here at Academic City University College is about taking the lead. Mm -hmm. And we want parents, we want students that are ready for that challenge. Mm -hmm. What are you telling prospective parents and applicants who are really, really eager to get into Academic City College right now? That admissions is open. Um, we start school for, we close um, admissions for this intake in about three weeks. Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to be a part of the September 22 admissions intake, um, then you don't have much time. But we do have a second admissions, which is January. So we have time. So they should definitely reach out to us. Um, again, we will work with them in regard to their scheduling, um, our tuition, our fees, and just many of the details that, of course, we can't capture in this short um, in this short conversation, but everything is there on the website. Mm -hmm. And I, Mrs. Shannon Akusia McGee, mm -hmm. I, as a director of admissions, I'm, I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. So. If there's any question, um, let them come and see me. Well, I guess this is more than seeing is believing. I don't know how to call this. This is like, what? The best, the brightest, and the brilliant yes. here at Academic City. I'm happy I passed through. I was here. I'm certainly hoping that we can get a couple of our bright but needy students here to also champion the goal to move the drive, making Ghana um, the gateway to Africa, and also making Academic City College proud out of the so, I was yeah. I bet he, find, me, find, 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 find me some students. I will. Find I me will, some students. I, I, I know you're here for scholarships. I know. But find me some students. Uh, Akusia, we'll see what we can this do. This is wonderful. This is so beautiful. I mean, trust me, the programs you're offering, this is what Ghana and Africa need to break off from the old order. Both of us have returned to do the work yes we have we've signed up for this work we, we need we've to get given it up done. our careers to you. come back to ghana to do this work and so we're all we to, we're here for it we're all hands on we're here for it we'll make it happen thank you abedi for stopping by you're welcome thank you and thank you for having me akosia yes um hopefully we we, we catch up some other time and do some stuff